Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're here in the Victory in the West campaign with the race across France this time. After uh, successfully getting to Antwerp and other various places such as Luxembourg and Aachen, we are now a map slightly further south with the American Third Army. It's August 28th, 1944. South of the Allied armies advancing into the Low Countries, Patton's Third Army is racing for the German border. Fresh from its victories in the French Riviera, US Seventh Army is hounding the remnants of German forces from that campaign. German High Command is acutely aware of the dire situation of its forces in this area. As such, it is dispatching whatever it can, scrape together to try and save the situation. Yeah, this is going to be uh, a pretty intense mission, if you ask me. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, the previous mission was kind of a race, and uh, this one is going to be as well. So I uh, wouldn't be too disappointed if the pace slows down a little bit more. Uh, one of the tricky parts about this is that we have, again, 60% supply. So the... Um, problematic supply situation is once again prominent here. I like I do think that this is intentional, but it, maybe it's a bug. I'm not sure. I mean, I did capture all the supply positions up until now. Um, so I really think that this is supposed to resemble the poor supply situation, but I'm not sure actually because it's still the same um, conference region so to say so um yeah i really don't know about this one um in the past it used to be that for each conference this would stick but yeah i, I don't know either way most of the remnants of the german armies in normandy have retreated northwards therefore there's little standing in the way of u.s third army but be aware that our enemy is rushing reserves to the front near metz and nancy Strike hard and fast to avoid being bogged down by these divisions. U.S. 7th Army is joining you from the south. They will mostly have to deal with what is left of German 19th Army. Um, yeah, so that's a lot of German troops that are going to come in here. And uh, we have some units on turn 5, but nothing too fancy here. Um, we have a very tight clock for this one. Reims, turn 1. Verdun, turn 2. Uh, we already have Lyon down here. Then there's Bescanson, and uh, turn 5. Dijon, turn 6. Langres, on turn 7. And Nancy, also turn 7. Um, and that's cutting it real close. Also, we have to reach the Moselle River... Whoop, 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 up here on turn 7 2. So, first thing that I want to do is I, I want to outfit the the units here. The US 7th Army. Um, these guys are out of position. It's a shame I didn't do away with this AVHQ because I, I, I don't really need it anymore at this point. But I can't put it in the bin now that I've used it. Uh, so that, that kind of sucks. Since for that Ultra, I should have just put it in the bin. I didn't realize that this would actually stick up until the end of this conference. And uh, yeah, now that we have used it, it will stay face down. And I, I kind of want to get rid of it, but uh, I don't think I can. At any rate, uh, you... Can have an infantry step at least so what i'm gonna do here is i want to stick at the very least my for my forward units for these guys with uh, priests so they are going to get double priest um then besides that not all of them have this i mean i don't want to go too crazy these guys can get regular artillery um how about you? Because I have one more priest. Let, let's go back up as well. 
Um, you could do with another regular artillery. And at that point... Let's give both of these Shermans extra. So that... These guys are really buff because these are going to be the workhorse of the 7th Army. And the 7th Army has quite the task for it to get Besançon uh, on turn 5 here. That, that's actually going to be a, a very tight clock. And not one that I'm 100% sure I'll be able to make without too many problems. Uh, well, if they do have these, then maybe I should just allow them to have it. Um, so I have no more artillery. Uh, why can't I take it back? That's just silly. Um, trying to undo that. Oh, there we are. Okay, that was a bit weird. Mm, yeah, I don't think it matters that much for them whether I switch up the anti-tank and I don't want to lose too much prestige here. So, let, let's just get started. I got the artillery that I wanted and the rest of these guys then should be okay. Let's get started here. Uh, so... Because we have such a tight clock, I do want to make... Well, let's start with the US 7th. So, they have this railroad which is moving through here, but my units won't be in supply through here because I don't own this railroad. Um, so, I'm going to have to supply my units by using the logistics ability while... I'm also moving up units through this here road, which I definitely want to do as well. Mm. Okay. But they probably won't be able to move any further. <laughs> wow, okay. They got stuck because that. I can't do any... Um, <clears throat> can, can I remove you? Ultra? No, I can't. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't move. I can't do any recon, so that's uh, a bit of a problem for these guys. Oh, well. Uh, US 3rd. Did I just forget to give them the infantry steps? Hmm, I guess I kind of did. So you guys can no longer use the trucks, but I'd wager you guys can. Now, the thing is that because I do need to capture Rames on turn one. I guess it's these guys gonna go that are going to use the trucks. <clears throat> okay, so we got that guy sticking out there. That's fine. Most of these are still in supply. I don't need these guys in supply, but I do need to use the trucks again on the next turn. So that's why I'm pleased to keep them that far. Uh, that's it, I think. I mean, these guys can't move, so that's about it. And we did capture the objective. Just these guys moving around for a bit. So one thing that I definitely need to do is 
give these guys supply like this. And Ugh, come on. Like detecting these guys like this is is terrible. Mm. No overrun. That sucks. Neither of them. I'm not particularly lucky on this one. But at least you get to move ahead now. These guys are still in supply, so no reason to move the US 7th once more. Okay, so there was a unit out there, but we don't see it now. Got Verdun on turn two. Excellent. I uh, should be having supplies here though. And it does mean uh, let's move you out there. So he's in here. Reason for that is that I also need to move this unit. I'm quite sure there's a unit in Longer itself, so I'm, I'm not going there, but I need to get to Bescanson any which way. Now, if I... Technically, I could cut off these guys, but... What use is that? If I move through here, they'll be out of supply for sure. It will be very difficult to get those supplies back. They're, they're not going to be able to take the supplies at Dijon because there's a unit out there too, I'm sure. Hmm. This is not a problem. Um, no, if, I, if I'm going to move them, obviously I'm going to move them up till here. Okay, so I think I kind of have to cut them off. But if I... guess I'll, I'll move like that. And then these guys will be out of supply for two turns, so I don't see them moving a whole lot. Should be able to destroy them with these. And I don't think they'll be able to cut off this rail line all the way up north. Should have done this earlier. Because I do need these as well. But <clears throat> I'm not going to die from not having this for one turn, I think. Because it's not going to help me this turn anyway. So it, it, it's technically fine. Even though it was a bit misplaced. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Cutting off one of the bridges. Well, okay, that, that's not necessarily an attack that I'll be extremely willing to make. But 
This is not bad. Hmm. Not gonna lie, doing this is, is actually pretty poor. Let's go for that seventh command point. Ow. Let's see what's out there. Nothing, but... Can you imagine that they're actually blocking the way with the AOK? -okay? Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, not gonna lie. I think that's a bit silly. That they use this to prevent me to move ahead, but... Okay. Mm, another unfortunate thing here is that I they can still blow up that bridge now and since the supplies yeah are not too great that's gonna be a bit of a problem I may still put a supply network Close, and then of course they had mud there. Talking about unfortunate. All right. Mm, at least the logistics are still working. Hmm. Now, I do need to keep a unit on Verdun. So that's, that's going to be the rear unit. Probably. So that the other guys can quickly move ahead. And I think these guys... I think they can already move in here. How's the enemy supply doing? So they're not actually, like, what is going on here? This is very weird. Getting real supply from here and here. That does not make any sense. So there's definitely a bug with that. Hmm. But then... Obviously, I can't move through Nancy. What does this do with the rail? So it does take that rail supply. Cuts off all of this. That gives me the reach the Moselle at least. But then how am I gonna cut them off from Nancy? If they have something on that on that hex specifically, which does not make any sense. <clears throat> I can't move in here to cross the river. Or I can take it. Hmm. Well, the thing is, if I take this real hex, then the enemy only has this down here. Which I hope to cut off fairly soon. But then... Yeah, let's just move in here. 
And we'll see where they'll deploy their units then. Also, yeah, let's move you in there. Finish them off. Do I want to take these guys out already? They'll be out of supply for even longer if I don't get them back. But that's where these guys, these things come in. So currently I have no units here that are technically out of supply. But I do have them here. This can only get supplies in that particular spot. So doing this and this might be the best solution there. Cutting off Dijon potentially on the next turn will help as well. If I can, at least. <clears throat> so we'll see. At any rate, let's move you out here for now so the supply will be okay. So they're deploying some units up there. Moving in here. Uh, and they're destroying some bridges, but not this one. Okay. I guess you could do that. So what's the deal with cutting off this? Uh, great mud. So they still don't get any supply. So these guys will be out of supply for one turn at least. On the next turn. Now, I'll certainly be racing the tanks down, although I can only wonder how much use that will be. Um, <clears throat> so, I will certainly get you out here. And these guys and Nancy itself as well. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that these guys can't really do anything there. So, down here. <clears throat> first things first. Getting terrible results. That's what I do. For a living. So the real question here is, how am I going to take Bescanson? And certainly this first. Let's just go for it, destroy these, and then I can't move any further with them, but 
I feel that it's probably still for the better anyhow. And then I'll, I'll see how close I can potentially get. Because I do need to take it on the next turn. And yeah, the, the rail isn't too great to be honest for now, but um, nothing I could do about it for now. These guys might be able to take either of these places on the next turn, but... I'll see. Okay, so they're out of supply. Yeah, they can take that stuff all they want, but if they don't have any supplies, it's not really gonna help them. Sure, that, I don't care about that too much either. <clears throat> Although my units are, are suffering from this for quite a bit too. Luckily, at least you guys will get supplies. But I'm a bit worried about them. And... Yeah. I'll see, I might be able to figure out something. First things first. Finish off you guys. Forty percent city in ruin. Actually, that's going to be tricky. These only get to deploy out here all the way. What's your use? Maybe attacking down there? That's the only thing that I can imagine that they are good for. <laughs> I see. And I can't take that one. What does doing this do? Does it help me get in there? No. No, it doesn't. Now that... No, the, it's not clear yet. If the city will be in ruins. Then. I would be in too much trouble, but at least I wouldn't be taking any damage. Okay, got lucky there. Seventy percent retreat. Okay, good. Take it here. <clears throat> I question myself how useful it is to go after the enemy armor. Uh, 
I need to take Dijon on the next turn. And since it's ill-advised to move back with you, that's also going to be tricky. <clears throat> So they can move in here, then how likely are they going to get any supplies? Not very likely, any which way, but This way, I can get them back in supply. And we'll see whether they will take that. I mean, <clears throat> there's not a whole lot I can do except doing it like this. And their supply is pretty poor. I mean, it's extremely poor. So I feel personally like that's currently the only thing I get to do. Another thing is the fact that these guys are in such poor supply. But since there's no supply going towards Nancy, I don't really get to do anything there so far. So in order to get these guys in supply, I don't even think that getting here will help. Both of these will be out of supply for two turns, so let's at the very least do this. Is there any place where I can get them in supply? It's just one. They're basically both already on one here. Um, the only thing that I can think of that might actually work is to try to get these guys to the to that side of, of Langre. So here, for example. So now they'd be in proximity at least to the, the US 3rd uh, Army HQ and if these guys don't cut me off at least I can give them better supplies but that's about it can't move you because these guys might move back I need an infantry on there and since I don't have Dijon I don't have the supplies there <laughs> they can only drop here for now super silly but since I don't have this I can't do anything about it all right enemy still out of supply not doing anything Let's move through here to get that rail. Okay. That's Dijon. Turn 6. Now we only need longer on turn 7. I'm saying only, but that's 
gonna be difficult any which way. Still, we do have the rail line running through here now. That doesn't help me with that, but it's still not too shabby. Mm. Now, these guys will be out of supply for two turns. Right, let's uh, keep moving here. Hmm. <laughs> Not gonna lie, these these attacks are still pretty poor, despite them being out of supply for that amount of time. Um, even there. So you're part of the third army, but supplies will be here. Not that it, it matters too much. All right, let's just give them supply and start going after some of these. Because they have nothing better to do. Neither do these. I mean, they... They won't be able to get supplies any which way, so no real reason to be there. This also doesn't matter. Not, yeah, I, I will have one extra supply turn there. Can you do anything up here? Not particularly. Well, the one thing these guys can still help with is at the very least get the supply out there. And... We'll be able to resupply those. I need to keep these guys here. Because I need to take longer on the next turn. So. No attacks here for sure. So that's that. What is my score currently? 358. Hmm. Okay, well, I think... That's gonna be about it. Yeah, nothing really changes. Besides all this. It's a bit of a silly mission, this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, none of this really makes a whole lot of sense. It looks very strange. Okay. Let's just move back. Mm. They can't target that. I don't I don't think I have any other good shot of them except with these here um.
So let's just attack. I mean, we need to take the casualties there in order to get this, which, you know, it, it's fine. They're at elites, they're gonna go down to veterans, but in order to get all the objectives on time, there's simply nothing else I get to do here. So, I'm just gonna accept that and move on. Shame you can't take the okay, but we do still have one more turn. Maybe you guys can. No, it's the Brooklyn Ridge. So they cannot move back, but the enemy can't really take this anymore. One thing that I can do, though, is inflict casualties upon the enemy. And quite a few, too, I think. Let's go in here, so I might be able to take some of that stuff. <clears throat> Any overruns would have been appreciated, but I'm not, not getting lucky. Which sucks. Ah, yes, finally. Getting some sweet ass oof runs, and that also increases my score, which I definitely want. I love getting a high score here. Um, what did you attack already? Not gonna lie, I kind of missed that. Oh well, I'm sure I can destroy these two with whatever we got out here. So let's move them out there. Hmm. What are you guys going to do? So we know they have only an infantry out there. At least that's how it looks like. Let's just hope that's the case. Well, these guys are out of supply, so they're not going to move in there. <laughs> sure. Keep moving. No, let's let's actually continue. I I think I can improve my uh, my score. <clears throat> There we go. Also by taking extra prisoners. Okay. Surely, yeah, they, they can't get any of those anymore.
They're part of the seventh. Oh. <clears throat> well, that doesn't do anything for me then. Uh, I guess they might as well move back. You, though. Still can take some prisoners. And... You guys can't take anything. And you can't attack anything. So they'll just stay there. And... <clears throat> so that's about it, though. Not bad. Uh, if I... Do say so myself. Took a few losses here and there, but overall went fairly well, I think. Enemy is just pretty much defeated here. And we did it. Not bad. We lost some, like I said, but overall, um, not only did we get a ton of prestige on this one, the enemy got absolutely annihilated, despite the strange bugs on this mission. So, that was a bit weird, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the way you, you take down that mission. You're gonna cut off the enemy from the north and from the back, and then the units that de still deploy there are immediately out of supply, and there's just nothing they can do. They're just wrecked from turn three. And personally, for me, that's the only way I've been able to tackle the race across France, by just spearheading your way through to the supply points, cutting them off, and then uh, taking the rest of the map. Although it's still an extremely tight clock, as a very, very difficult mission to achieve all the objectives on time on. Not gonna lie, I, I think Race Across France is a very diff tricky mission, and can easily go wrong with even the slightest variable going a little bit different. I got really lucky there with... Um, what objective? Uh, let, let's go back for a second. Come on, game. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, I got really lucky with Nancy not having a unit on there. Um, and being able to take that. So, a lot of the enemies deployed up north. I think they can also deploy around Mets. So... What you want to do is you also want to take this area around Metz and Nancy on turn 3 if you can. Um, so that the enemy won't be able to deploy there. Taking this supply point was absolutely critical to do that that quickly. Because it indeed forced the enemy to... Well, it basically just beat them from turn 3 when they started deploying there. They had one turn at which point they might have been able to do something. But the turn afterwards... All fresh reinforcements were not strong enough to take me down, and the other units were out of supply. And um, yeah, they have the only where um, good position they have still is Moorhouse out there. Um, again, the rail line being here is so weird. I think it's definitely a bug, like that. Um, the funny thing is that this is, of course, from Italy. It's the River Po, if I'm not not mistaken, but um, <laughs> yeah. So we, we already took quite a, a bit of that. But um, the only problem is indeed that they still have this one. But if you can cut them off here, then Dijon is going to be cut off. So you want to take this rail line as, as quickly as possible, and then also this one and this one. And that, that effectively puts all their troops out of supply. If you move from here down here, then... Um, Longer is also going to be cut off. So on turn 7 and turn 6, you should be able to have these guys out of supply for two turns already. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just a tight clock. That's the only way I've, I've really been able to, to do it. Um, so 
Next up is gonna be Operation Market Garden, the final mission in uh, this campaign, uh, or at least until the next conference. I'm looking forward to it. That's gonna be a very difficult one as well, of course. Uh, there's not gonna be any doubt in my mind that this is gonna be very difficult. Uh, either way, thanks for watching Race Across France. Do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.